hello everyone you're welcome to my youtube channel mary emilogu here if this is your first time seeing my beautiful face what are you waiting for just subscribe to this channel and enjoy this journey with us so today i'll be telling you guys things you need to know before opening a bakery or before doing bakery business there is no doubt that bakery business is a lucrative one is one of the lucrative business we have in nigeria the first thing you need to do is to get the full knowledge for me i went to a bakery nearby there is a bakery close to my house It's a big bakery they produce like um 50 bucks to 100 bucks a day so i went there i spoke with you i met with your supervisor we spoke at length and i had to go there for training I went for training for only one week because they told me that they could only take me for one week i said fine so i learned both the bread making the mixing everything to packaging so another thing you need to know is the equipment in starting a bakery business is capital intensive the equipments are very very expensive if you are talking about rotary oven Rotary oven is about 7 million to 10 million naira. If you're talking about deck oven, it's about 2 million or 1 million. Some are 3 million naira. Or the mixers, the mixers are very, very expensive. We have three types of oven. We have the rotary, we have the deck, and the charcoal. Rotary oven are the ones that I said that are quite expensive. Deck oven are about 2 million to 3 million. Charcoal oven oh, is quite affordable. Or some are still expensive some are up to two million some are up to three million naira so let's talk about the mixer mixer is about three million or okay. let's talk about the molder you don't really need the molder the molder is about one million naira or two now you don't need the molder you can just employ somebody who molds for you to make the work easier for you another thing we need is stainless table and stainless racks those ones are about 120,000. You need like three tables and three racks. The ingredients, you need to master your ingredients. You need to know the kind of ingredients you want to use because we have different categories of flour in the market. Golden Penny cannot give you what Dangote will give you. They, they have different texture the outcome of the bread is very very different some comes out white some comes out brown but in all this flour the best one i use is golden penny you need to know your milk you need to know your sugar they have boa in the market they have dangote they have golden penny of course golden penny sugar is still leading so you need to make the right choice when you are choosing your ingredients the right flavor the right amount of milk just know all these things this is the reason why you need to go to a bakery and learn it you don't just start up business without knowing the basics of the business the common bread we have in the market now is milk bread that's what everybody produce but it depends on your on your area if you're in a rich man's area you can give them different varieties coconut bread carrot bread fruit bread etc depends on the one you want to give them but if you're in poor man's area you have to come down to their level and give them what they want another thing you need to know is your registration before you start your business you need to register your business you need to register your business with cac trademark navdac amac public health these four registrations are very very important another thing i want to talk about is harassment in this business the harassment in bread business is annoying amac will harass you both the ones that are good amac and the fake amac they will wear it come and disturb your workers if you are not there fire service will come there amac public health will come there if they come there if you know you're right you, you won't give them anything some will threaten you that they want to lock your bakery. Have you paid for boho? Have you paid for water? Have you paid for this? Have you paid for that? You need to know the right registration. Once you get your NAVDAC, 
you don't need to fear just paste it by the corner paste fumigation everything all the certificates by the corner of your bakery so that when they come your receptionist can attend to them and they live with their wahala another thing we need to know is costing when you are doing a bakery business you need to cost bookkeeping you need to cost you need to know how to cost your sugar cost your milk cost your water cost your butter your yeast everything you are using for for your mixing every ingredient you're using for your bread you need to know how to cost it you don't just guess and start mixing if you are guessing and mixing you will not make any gain you may overuse and you may underuse so costing maybe if your costing for one bag is giving you like forty thousand, at least you should make gain of like five thousand a bag so costing is very very important yeah most times we hand over our our bakery to somebody to be costing for us but you cannot just trust people you need to be doing sometimes the costing yourself the main reason you should be costing your production is the high cost of raw materials the inflation in nigeria is too much when you buy flour today the next day when you are going to buy flour it won't be the same amount so you need to be costing your flour every two weeks everything is adding price if not you will end up sinking into debt in bookkeeping you need to have your production book your retail book distributors book salary book salary advance book and debt book all these books are very important someone cannot say oh i gave you money someday i gave you money the other day you need to bookkeep you need to keep record of everything that is going on in your bakery learn to give your staff their rights when it's the end of the month you pay early it, it won't be a crime if you pay last day of the month or if you it won't be a crime if you pay from first to third of next of the next month owing staffs is not good learn to pay your staff early give them their rights give the bakers their milk anything you're supposed to give them give it to them another thing is personal hygiene personal hygiene the workers covering their head covering of their heads and wearing of gloves washing their hands when they're entering the bakery then let's come to pants let's talk about pants i see many people advising um people that want to open bakery they should go for stainless pan my sister my brother if you cannot afford stainless pan stay on your lane and buy aluminium pan in aluminium you can get quality ones that, that are very good for me i'm using aluminium pants and i'm enjoying it this is my one year in business and i've been using aluminium pants know the right grams for your pants ask for advice before you produce your pants because you are producing these pants in large quantity when you want to produce pan for a bread you can produce like 200 to 300 pieces of pan so pan is not something you just wake up and do. seek for advice make your inquiries before getting your pants know the right grams know the length of your pan and the width of your pan that is very important the nylons the nylons for your bread the nylon for packaging you need to make your nylon a bit transparent not the nylon that the design covers the whole part of the body now that doesn't accept that your nylon has to be a bit transparent so that people can at least view your bread through the nylon and see how beautiful the body looks how brown and shiny your bread looks that is the best nylon you have to do number one wahala people will have in this business are the distributors i'm clapping my head because they will give you wahala do you know when they will give you wahala when there is increase in raw materials and you want to increase the price of bread to your own gain they will fight you because when you are increasing your price you consider the distributors if your bread is 300 the final price you have to sell it to distributors for 240 they will sell to retailers for 270 and retailers will sell it to final consumers 
for 300. You see, we have three people here now. We, we are, which are the producers, the distributors, the retailers, and the final consumers. You need to consider them. They don't care about you that is producing. They only care about themselves. When flour increases price, sugar increases, every other thing increases price, they will fight you. They will make, they will make you look as if you are the one that, that spoils Nigerian economy. They won't, when you add price to your bread, they will not buy. You may end up not selling for a week. So all these I've said is the bad part of them. But let me tell you the good part of them. You cannot sell your bread without them. When you get like uh, one or two distributors, three or four of them, they can move your market. When you produce like 1,000 loaves of bread, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 loaves of bread, they will come and pack it immediately. They have the magic to sell the bread. They go distribute it to store owners, which are the retailers, and they will sell it off for you. So you cannot work without them. Unless you have a boss and you have a good marketer who, who can go out there to market. I've tried marketing myself. My brother, my sister did not sell. I would dress up, carry my bread, go to retailers to sell my bread. I won't be able to sell. I had to beg for distributors to come and be buying from me. And you can imagine I sold like 2,000 pieces daily. So in all these things, we need to strike a balance make them understand but some of them will be stubborn but you don't just need to favor them you need to favor yourself too when you are making business just make it in a way that you are making your own money them are making their own money too when you want to start a bakery business they will give you recipe some people will be selling recipe to you make sure the recipe they are giving you is not too rich if it's too rich you cannot make your gain look at the recipe check it very well if it's something that will give you gain fine if, it, if it's the one that will not give you gain please just bounce and go look for a very affordable recipe because people are not looking for a very sweet and rich bread unless you are in a rich man's area now there is sapa in nigeria people are only looking for what to give their children and their stomach will be full they're not looking for rich bread so please as you are as they're giving you as they're giving you recipe be considering the people that are buying it hope you guys enjoyed this video give us a thumbs up share like and comment if you want me to talk about any topic on this channel please drop the topic and i will just talk about it this is my line i'm always available for you guys any question you want to ask i will be very happy and pleased to answer you and if you have any confidential question to ask me about bakery business you can follow me on my instagram there is my link on my description subscribe thank you so so much for watching bye